Hi everybody, this is John Lorse from DiscoverSkills.com and I'm back with another how-to video. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about the view menu. And what I'm referring to is the view menu is an option that you find in a lot of different programs that you use and even out in Windows in the folder window that allows you to change the way you're looking at something. Uh, in some programs the view menu is also for changing what appears on the screen. For example, in Microsoft Word, the view menu allows you to turn the ruler off and on. Now today I specifically want to talk about the view menu and how it relates to the file and folder window in, in Windows. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now the first thing to understand about the view menu uh, in, in regards to the file and folder window is that you see it in every version of Windows that they've ever had. Um, but it's in different forms. Now back in Windows XP and with Windows Vista you actually still will see a view menu on the menu bar at the top of the file and folder window. But when you get to Windows 7 and Windows 8 uh, instead of seeing the menu bar which no longer is available on Windows 7 and Windows 8 you instead in Windows 7 see a view button and in Windows 8 you see a view tab and in both cases in, in all cases it, it still gives you the same options so the view menu allows you to change the way you're looking at the folder content or basically at the files that are in a folder it's also useful for sorting files so you know not only can you use it to change the way you're looking at files but if you specifically change it to a detail view you can actually sort files in different ways as you're looking at folders now let's go ahead and take a look at this in in real time and what we're going to be looking at today is Windows 7 so here we are in a folder window in Windows 7 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and and scroll over here on the left hand side remember we have this thing called the navigation pane and then over on the right hand side we have the content window where it shows you the contents of whatever folder you clicked on uh, for our example I'm gonna go over here to the pictures library and I'm gonna twirl the arrow and expand it and then I'm gonna go to my pictures so I've expanded out these folders so that I can see them and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and then I'm gonna pick uh, click on this folder called Rosenblatt so there we go okay now we can see a folder and we can see some content now with regards to the view menu in Windows 7 we don't have a menu bar across the top with view like we do in Windows XP and Windows Vista but we do have over in the upper right hand side we have a view button and if I go ahead and click here you can see that it brings up a list that I can slide to different options. There's small icons, there's medium icons, there's large icons, and you can see right on the screen as I do this, I'm basically changing the way I'm looking at something. If I scroll clear down here to details, and then we see detailed information. So the point is, is that depending upon what you're trying to do with this content, whatever it might be, clicking on the view menu allows you to change the different views to accomplish different things. For example, you might like to go to a list view if you want to quickly see kind of a bird's eye view of everything that's in the folder. On the other hand, you might go to a large icon view or a thumbnail view as it's called in uh, Windows XP and Windows Vista if you're dealing with pictures and you want to see thumbnails. In other cases you might want to go back to the view menu and choose details if you want to see detailed information about the different things that you're looking at. Now speaking of details the the cool thing about the detailed view is that in addition to to seeing this detailed information you can also go to column headings like here's the word name this is the name column the date column the size column and so on and so forth and by clicking on the column heading if I get like, like if I click on the word name here it will sort clicking once sorts it descending clicking it again sorts it ascending we can do the same thing with date if I come over to date I go click 
and now I'm seeing these in, uh, let's see, what is this, descending form, I guess. And if I click again, it'll be in ascending form. I can do the same thing with size. Click, I see the biggest ones at the top, click again, and I see the smaller ones at the top. So detailed view is where you can go to sort things. Now, again, the point is, don't forget that you have a view menu that you can go to to change the way things look according to what you're trying to accomplish. A lot of people forget that you can even do this. Now, just to quickly show you what this might look like in, uh, in Windows XP and Windows Vista. In Windows 7, I can come up here to the Organize button. I can slide down to Layout, and I can actually turn on the old menu bar that you see in uh, Windows uh, XP and Windows Vista. So here you're looking at right up here, and look what we have there, a view menu. And I'm going to go ahead and click it, and here are the different view options that I have. Okay, so that's what it would look like basically Windows XP and Windows Vista. You'll see it on the toolbar here. Now, I don't really have Windows 8 available to show you directly here, but let me let me show you a screenshot. I'm going to go ahead and click and pull up this screenshot. Here's a screenshot. And this is actually a shot that, that is in my book called um, Using Your Files or Working With Your Files and Folders. But you'll see here, this is a Windows 8 folder window. And, of course, with Windows 8, they've introduced this whole... A ribbon concept that they've also, you know, Microsoft has also introduced into its Office products. But the point is, with Windows 8, uh, what you have for view is not a button over on the side. It's not a view pull-down menu. It is a view tab. And if you look across the top here, here are the tabs that you see in the folder window. And when you click view, suddenly now you can see right here the view options, the same kinds of options that we saw over in Windows 7 in a button form and in Windows XP and Vista in a view pull-down menu. So again, this is where you would come in Windows 8 to actually change the way you're looking at something on the screen here. So again, to summarize, don't forget you've got a view button in Windows 7 that you can click to, to change the way you're looking at things. And of course, in Windows XP and Vista, you have a view pull-down menu that you can go to. And, you know, again, I, I bring this up because I have a lot of different students sitting in classes when we start talking about uh, changing the way things look or if they look at their neighbor's computer and they see things differently, they're, they're wondering, well, what the heck is going on? Well, again, you can change the view anytime you want to depending upon what you're trying to accomplish. Well, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for uh, watching this video, and remember that if you're interested in seeing more how-to video videos and technology articles, you're welcome to visit our website. It's www.discoverskills.com. Or if you'd like to send me a question or a comment, my email address is jlortz at discoverskills.com. And, of course, you can always see more how-to video tutorials over on my YouTube channel. The address is www.youtube.com forward slash discover skills. And, of course, I always appreciate it if you click the thumbs up button to like any of the videos that you might watch. And, again, my name is John Lords from discoverskills.com, and I will see you in the next video.